After you've powered down the tablet, you can begin to remove the back cover by sliding an opening tool in between the cover itself and the side bezel and then prying toward the device like so. You'll want to work your way around all sides of the device until the back can be removed easily by hand. With the back now off, it's a good idea to disconnect the battery before proceeding any further. Pushing the clip away from the connector on both sides should disconnect the battery fully. Now that the battery is disconnected, the flex for the digitizer can be unsat by first removing the two Phillips screws that assist in holding it in place. After these screws are taken out, the clip can be undone and the flex can be slid out. Next we can begin to remove the glass itself. You'll need to heat the front of the device up to loosen the adhesive. This can be done safely in a number of ways that are now shown on screen. After the glass has been adequately heated, an opening tool can be slid in between the glass and the side bezel. Once it's in, you'll want to swap it out for a plastic tool of some sort as the metal can further crack the glass. You'll then want to work your way around the Kindle until the glass is unadhered. Any remaining adhesive on the Kindle will need to be removed before the new adhesive can be applied. When applying the new adhesive, be mindful not to cover up any sensors or the front facing camera itself. After the adhesive is applied, the LCD will likely need to be cleaned. I do this by first wiping down the LCD with a microfiber cloth and then using scotch tape to remove the small dust particles. When doing this, you'll want to stay away from stronger tape as it can damage the LCD. Once the LCD has been cleaned, the flex for the digitizer can be slid through to the other side and the glass can be laid into place. Running your hand around the edges while applying a bit of pressure will ensure a good seal. Now the flex for the digitizer can be slid back into the clip and fastened. The two Phillips screws for it can also be replaced at this time.
Once the digitizer flex is secured, the battery can be clipped back in and the back cover can be replaced. Aligning the cover with the Kindle and working your hand around the edges of it will end up clipping it back in, completing the repair.